Hi guys, Hello and welcome there. to another episode of Massey, Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I'm Jeremy. And I'm Lee. And we have a very great episode for you a today. A very great yes, episode. Yes, a very great episode. <laughs> because I decided to do a leaky cup. You did. And, yes. And you also picked all the colours. I did pick all the colours again. And I love to pick the colours. Yeah, and when I let him <laughs> pick the colours unsupervised, he chooses 17 of them. <laughs> So in this pour today, there are actually seven, seven. colours that he's seven picked. Seven colours. However, I've got to say that they're, they're beautiful. Every single one of them looks great together. So yeah, I'm really excited about yeah, this I'm too. Yeah, I'm really excited about this. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's fun yeah. to just do three or four colours and they're all complement and it's great. Sometimes it's nice to mix it up yeah. with a baker's dozen. Yeah. Right, almost. And you're doing Leaky Cup. I am. I'm doing a Leaky Cup. What are you doing? Well, as soon as I saw them, I thought to myself, I'm going to do a Dutch pour. Oh, nice. Yeah, they sung to me for some reason. So I'm going to Dutch pour this one. And I've got an interesting thing that I might try with a background colour. Got it. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see. I've got to outshine you in that bloody Leaky Cup. You always do such great ones. So yeah, I'm going to do a really funky Dutch pour. Nice. Thank you. Nice. Mm -hmm. Well, let's get to it. You want to get pouring? I don't want to get pouring. Well, the paints are already mixed, excited. so let's do it. Let's right. let's see you at the table. Let's do it. Well, hello there, ladies and gents. Welcome to my pour. As you can see, I have a canvas here in front of me that is going to get repurposed. Um, it wasn't a particularly bad pour, um, but it wasn't a good one either. So uh, I'm going to paint over this one with a Dutch pour, as you've just heard us talk about. Now, Jeremy has picked a cacophony of colours. Um, I think 12 of them, in fact. <laughs> it's just what it feels like. But they are really beautiful together, and I'm really excited to see what happens in a Dutch pour. Um, but let me introduce you to them. We have Artist Loft Phalo Blue, and we have Artist Loft Phalo Green. Then we have Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue, mm -hmm. which is a really lovely colour. I know you like that one a lot, I do. Jeremy. I love it. Artist Loft Light Blue. So some beautiful blues and greens there. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to throw in a permanent red violet by Amsterdam, which is really yes. lovely. This is a really nice colour. I poo pooed this one at the beginning, but actually, as I poured it, mixed it, it looks really pretty. This is a Deco Art Americana Bahama Blue in this tube here, which is really cool. So pretty. Now, um, of course, you will never see us get away from at least using one metallic in this time because of the really lovely colors that we've got. The gold is gonna go better with it. So it's our 24 karat gold by Decoir Metallics. And I am using an interesting choice for a base coat color. It is Quinacridone Burnt Orange by Goldens. And to this, I've mixed in a little bit of white so it's a little lighter than the kind of dark burnt orange that it normally is. And I don't know if you can see this, but I've also thrown in here some 24 karat gold. So it's got a lovely shimmery, shiny, kind of lovely burnt orange color. Now, as you can see, or maybe you can see, this is our thin pouring consistency. So this is 50% Floetrol, 25% paint, and 25% water for every one of the other colors, other than this one because it's a heavy body paint, it's got a little bit more water in it to get it to the same consistency. I've just dripped on my canvas there, but it's okay because this is gonna be covered with a base coat. So let's do that. Let's flood this canvas first with the quinacridone and then we can get to layering the colors. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I've got this beautiful quinacridone burnt orange on the canvas, which I know Jeremy loves because it's an orange color and I know he's a fan of it. Now let's get layering these colors on top. Now, what my plan is to do is to kind of intermingle the lights and the darks and then throw in the gold there, probably somewhere in the middle. Um, so that is my plan. And 
Every time that you walk through the door I'm hit by the same old tide Blinded by the lights And I'm going through changes But it's easier with you I'm going through changes And so are you And I find the moments when you're All right, so I have layered my colors. What a beautiful canvas. I could just leave it just like that. Um, next, taking my little pinky, a little gift from our wonderful Mina Villegas. I'm now gonna blow these colors out and I'll definitely lower the volume here so you don't have to hear it. But this thing has got some power to it. So let's see what happens. Wowzers. Okay. I love it. I really do love it. Um, I really love the, the base with the pops of the colors on it. Um, and clearly we've got the beautiful lacing with the gold cells, but even the blues laced up really pretty. That was the, must be the metallic cobalt blue just here. Um, and I love to see kind of the cells peeping through both the light blue and the magenta over in this corner. Um, I'm wondering whether my composition looks a little bit bottom heavy, but you know what? I don't mind that quite so much. Um, I'm not gonna touch this one anymore. I'm not gonna fuss with it. I have the little blow dryer that I could use that I could definitely play with this one, but I don't think it needs it. I like the feathery look to it. So why don't I get my edges real quick and then let's take you in for a close up. Hey guys, it is Jeremy here and I'm really excited about this. I am going to be doing this uh, leaky cup today. Um, and I'm really excited about it. I got some amazing colors, a bunch of different colors picked out um, as you saw with Lee's. Uh, so I'm really excited to get started here. I'm gonna go ahead and flood my canvas and, uh, and then get started. All right, everybody, here we go. I'm going to put my cup down and we're gonna to get to pour in here on this leaky cup. A bit closer to you. A bit closer to mm -hmm. me. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. good? Yeah, okay. from this side it's perfectly in the middle. All right, perfect.
Loving what's happening. We're gonna see what happens when I spin it out. You're spinning it out? Yes, I'm just gonna take this and wow is this. So everyone at home, I know all the comments have always been, you should spin out your leaky cups. And I've been asking you to do it for a while, so I'm excited. You know you could do that with your finger too. Yeah. Okay, guys, here we go. All right, guys, let's do this. It's spinning time. It is spinning time. Okay guys, so I got it off of my Lazy Debra mm -hmm. and I have it down here. I am in love with this. Um, the gold of the highlights around the edges and this beautiful little flower that, that transpired in the center and like the corners, just everything about this piece, I'm in love with. Um, I hope you guys like it too. I Please. hope you enjoyed spinning it. I seriously enjoyed spinning it. Um, I, I did. I enjoyed spinning it. Good. It left it really perfect. Exactly. And that's I why like everyone to, kept asking you to do that. I know, but I like I like it whenever it's imperfect because it's like, and not, you know, things in nature aren't perfect. No. So I like to I like to tilt it and do it my own way. But this did make it perfect. It is like, I mean as perfect as, it, as it's gonna get. For me anyway, that's what I think. Okay. Um, yeah, but I love it. I hope you guys love it too. You gonna take him in for a close up? I'm gonna take you guys in for a close up. Let's do it. Let's do it. So guys, what do you think? Because I'm in love with that leaky cup. I, I, every time that I use it, I get so excited. Yeah. And the results come out just 
incredible, I think. Now you were forced mm -hmm. by me, mm -hmm. people at home, to use the lazy Deborah. Yes. Or the lazy Susan. Um, yeah. Because I know you didn't want to. But yeah. be honest and tell me of your experience and will you use it again on a leaky cup? My experience was is that normally I like to tilt my leaky cups because I don't want it to be perfect. Like I want there, I want some of the petals and some of the, the what I call petals right. and uh, to be a little off centered. And you know, it's like, it's like a natural look to it. Right. Um, with the lazy Susan or Deborah, um, whenever you spin it, it comes out perfect. Right. Like, I mean, it, it just comes out, everything is like even and, and which is beautiful and it makes for a beautiful piece. Um, but personally, like, I could go either way, honestly. Okay. I think it's gonna be a, a mood thing with okay. me. And maybe a color thing. And a color thing, yeah. Right. Yeah, like today's colors, it worked perfect. Like you that didn't came hate out beautiful. It. No, I didn't okay. hate it at go. all. No, I actually liked it. It was um it was different than the other leaky cups that I've done. I mean right. it came out really pretty and you know, and very symmetrical. So many people commented when you did your last <laughs> one that they wanted to see it done and spun out. So yeah. I'm glad that you did it at least so everyone can see yeah. it. Um, which was awesome. God, folks, I gotta say, I loved my Dutch pour. I know. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm getting really confident with them and I think it's showing in the composition. But I loved that Quinacridone Burn Orange base mm. coat with a splash of white and the gold in it too. And it just sparkles. It's so pretty. Yeah. Really enjoyed it. He was stood here next to me like, going, mm, it's not gonna work. Good thing, it's not gonna work. <laughs> Thought it looked really weird as a composition. <laughs> And I was a little unsure myself, I'll be honest, but when we poured it, you'll see it looked really beautiful. You don't know till you try, so exactly. there you go. Like, Every day's a learning, You have right? to try, you have to try different things, you have to open yourself up to different things, you just have to go for it. And I've got something in mind I want to try, like seriously, for a different kind of episode with those colours. Mm. But before we get to that, why don't we show you the pieces wet one more time. Yes. So there you have it, guys. That was the result of our pour. I hope you loved them as much as we did. I know, yeah. totally. Yeah, let us know in the comments. Please. We love we love all the comments. Right. So, um, yeah, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It means the world to us. It right. keeps us hyped up and going. Um, and just you know, it just makes makes our day. You know. So uh, other than that, thank you for being here with us. Um, we love doing this and we will see you on the next episode of Massey Art Studio. We will indeed. Please yes. come back. I have a great day and we'll see you all very soon. Yes. Thank you all. Bye guys. Bye. So there are some extra special people that we really want to thank and that's our Patreons. Yes. Or we like to call them the Massey Posse. Our Patreon account is something very separate to YouTube. Um, but what it does is it allows certain people the opportunity to come and get an extra special look at the studio. It does. And um, there are different levels and within the different levels you get different perks. The perks range from things like sneak peek pictures and sneak peek videos. Yes. All the way through to live chats with us in a WhatsApp group that we set up for certain levels. Um, all the way through to being able to come on to tutorials once a month. Yes. And live streams once a month. And our diamond level pourers will also get the opportunity to pick the colors for one episode we pour on 11 by 14 canvases, and then that person, the people at the platinum, at the diamond level, will get the chance to pick one of those two canvases. Yes. So it's super, super fun. Um, and we've got some special people to thank. So at the gold level, we've got Gloria, AKA Glitzy. We've got Jen Riley. We've got Jane Klein. We've got Trisha West. West. We've got Janice Pittman and we've got Janice Swansea. Yes. Thank you to our gold borers. We also have at the platinum level, Leslie Beaver, 
and our diamond pourer, someone you all know and love, that's Sparkles, Laurie Finza. Yes. So thank you so much to everyone at those levels. Also here listed beneath is everyone else um, at all the other levels. We really appreciate you. We thank you for wanting to take an extra special look at the studio. Thank you so much, Patreons.